Thank you for joining me and welcome back to LEGO Worlds and it's time for our second building episode. We are going to finish, not not necessarily finish, but we're going to work on this house that we started a couple of weeks ago. Uh, this series, as I mentioned one time, will not necessarily be weekly. Sometimes it may be weekly, other times it may not, just depending on what's going on, how busy I am, how many other episodes I'm putting out. Alright, so what do we have to do around here? Well, the porch is looking good. I've got the windows on this side of the house. We need to build the walls around the rest of the house here. All of this, there are no walls here. And then I need to work on mapping out the inside of the house, dividing that up into rooms. Um, I think I am going to put a second story on it. I did not receive any comments about that. And I have decided it needs a second story. It, wouldn't re it won't really be quite the look I was going for, but I think the house has kind of evolved into a bigger, more elaborate structure, so we're going to go with that, we're going to keep going with it, and build the house on up. And I also want to replace this, this walk here. I don't like the ingot tiles that I put down. I feel like the steps are underwhelming. They're, they, need, they need more going on right here. I'm not sure why they look so small. So, I'm going to start with the walls up here. I need to figure out what I want as far as windows. I don't know that I... I don't want more of these big windows on the front. I kind of want to frame the door. It's like, uh, have a... Let's see. The door is one stud inward from where the wall is. I think that was a mistake on my part. But I, I'm glad I did that because I want to take advantage of that. So I'm just going to stack these up on either side of the door. The top here kind of bothers me. I think we'll stack up some more. I, I don't want it to look out of place. You know what? Maybe I should lower the door. Yeah, there's a door step. You see how there's a plate right here under the door. So it's raised up a little bit above the porch. We should, we should lower that down so that everything above the door will line up. It'll be pretty simple. I just have to remove the door. And then I will remove this plate. You know what? I'm going to use a trick. Here's, a, here's another tip for you. If you want to get rid of part of a piece, but not the whole thing. See, this is a 1x4 tile. I just want to get rid of this little bit. And I don't want to have to go look for the 1x3 and get the right color. I'm just going to take the 1x1 one one flat tile, turn overlap on, and put it in place of the part that I want to get rid of on both sides, and then I can just remove that, and we're good to go. Good. And that should open and close with no problem. It shows you how much clearance it needs for the door, and that was clear, so we're good to go. Now, and now I have a full bricks space above the top. Put it right here. So this is going to overlap right in front of it, and I think this right about here is where the arch... Let me take it down a little bit. That's where the arch is going to start. I'm going to use, this is going to be a bit of a bigger, rounder arch than what we have over the windows, because we have room to do that. Now, is that too round for this house? It's kind of going to look like a barn door if I do that, so I should probably not make that. So at this, thi at this point, I am thinking, maybe not have an arch at all, and just have it go straight up. I think that will look okay. We can come back and adjust this later. Um, after we build more of the house, I'm going to go ahead and do what I know I do want to do. I'm going to copy this, I'm just going to spin it around, and it should sit down right here quite easily. That looks pretty good. Alright, so what I want on the inside is I'm going to have a big room right here. This will be the center of this room. And then this, right along here, there's going to be a wall with arches. And this backspace right here, behind the wall with arches, is, is pretty much going to be useless, pointless. I don't know why I want it. I just think it would look cool in a practical house where the, the, the place where you might see that is if this is a hallway that goes on in this direction. This, hall this is not a hallway, this does not go on, but I want to put that there anyway. You know what, maybe I can put the stairs right here that we go down into the basement. I guess at this point, in, in order to figure out where I want the windows arranged on this side of the house, 
I really need to flesh out the inside floor plan of this end of the house. I, I built these so that we have room for layers. We have the outside layer with the masonry bricks and the windows, and then the inside layer, there's room for colored bricks on the inside. What color do I want this room to be painted? We're gonna use one by four bricks. Let me just place these and then I'll paint because I think a lot of the paints are unavailable in build mode. You have to use the paint tool. Okay, so that's not quite looking the way I hoped it would, the way I pictured. Uh, the problem is, see these bricks up here, they show on the outside and these bricks down here, so they have to stay white. And then on the inside, we have the, the tall white sections and then the colored sections in between. I think it'll help if I separate those with the curtains. So I'm going to build some curtains real quick. Thinking about going with the dark red for the curtains. I don't really know. How does one build Lego curtains? Alright, that looks pretty good. It could probably use work. I think that looks okay. It looks, it looks well, this should be lower. There we go. That looks like curtains on a curtain rod, doesn't it? Somewhat. A little bit. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and build a third layer to the wall. So I have the outside layer, which is the, uh, the masonry bricks, and then they have the middle layer, which is the windows themselves. And then there will be the inside layer, which is paint. And maybe beyond that, curtains. Okay, I think we're starting to have a good look going on. Okay, I feel like that's close. But we have a really distinct point right at the top. I really don't want that. It looks so much better. It's so much rounder. But it doesn't make sense physically because it should be hanging down right here. Alright, forget about fancy curtains. We are going to make this incredibly simple. Because who needs drapey curtains? Okay, I did it. I did it. I don't know why that was so hard. Please tell me they look nice. And I think it looks... Ah, oh, no. It's backwards. It's backwards. It's going the wrong way. Okay, so maybe if I put these up there, that looks absolutely horrendous. It's good. It's good. I did it. That looks good. That looks decent. And if anyone thinks otherwise, they can get over it. Because it looks great. It looks fantastic. Beautiful curtains. Now for that archway, I want to put it right about here, probably same distance from the window as this wall is from that window. Let me see how that works out. See that's going to make this back section kind of narrow. Let me just see how it looks. I need to build another arch. We're building lots of archways today. They're in this build anyway. I had to build an arch on the outside of the windows, and we have the arch that the curtains create, and then we have this archway. Okay, that looks that looks good, I think. I don't know, it's so hard to tell if it looks good or not. Again, I need your comments, I need input. Uh, this might look better once it has a ceiling above it. I personally think it looks cool. I have no idea what I'm going with going for with this house anymore. But it's going to be an interesting house, I can give, I can tell you that much. We're not building a boring house here, no siree. We're building a house full of archways. The Archway House. Maybe I should rename these episodes. Call it the Archway House instead of the Lake House. So this is going to be the living area. We're going to have maybe a big rug in the middle, some, some couches. It's not going to have a TV. This is a nice house where you get away from electronics, at least right now because there are no electronics in here and there's no place to put a TV. <laughs> you get the idea. This is going to be the sitting area. This is where there will be couches. And uh, and then this area over here, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe a kitchen would, would go well right here or should I put the kitchen downstairs? And where are the stairs going to go? I have to make room somewhere in here for some stairs that go downstairs. Okay, here's what I'm going for. So it's a very open uh, area, at least on the first floor. It's, you got the, the living area over here where people hang out. The kitchen is another place where people tend to hang out. It's also an open area, so I think I'll put the kitchen right here 
and then we'll have this open to the kitchen. It's gonna be cool, it's gonna be great. I also, come to think of it, need to have stairs going up, not just down. Here's the idea, what if I, I do need to make, it, make use of this space. So how about I put the stairs right here, they'll go down here and then there will be sort of a flat part, and then there will be stairs going up. Because otherwise this space back here is not going to get used at all. It's just going to be this space where nobody ever goes. And I need to go on downstairs and build stairs up so that I can see how far I need to come. Okay, so this is our basement. Again, we can replace this this rock wall later if we want to do that. I have no idea what I'm putting down here. So I'm going to want at least a 6x6 area right there before the stairs begin. I'm just going to put down the floorboards and we will paint and uh, work on this later. I just need to know where the stairs are. So we have uh, this archway right here. This will be flat so that you can go there and go down the stairs instead of having to go around to the kitchen to go downstairs. So that's great. And once I put some, uh, some walls down here, it's not going to look so bad. Right now it's just kind of torn apart. So yeah, that's what I need to figure out. How high is the top floor going to be? So the ceiling of this floor will be right here. And just to give myself some clearance, I will put the top floor right about here. So let's go over here. You can see the, um, the black outline. I'm pointing to it with my left hand, even though you can't see that. The black uh, shape at the bottom of the screen, that's the shadow of the brick that I'm placing. That helped you get it lined up. So that is where the corner of the room is going to be because of all of our layers. I'm going to make a 6x6 six six area. That's the platform that I want. Uh, I'm going to make that just a little bit bigger. And then we'll start going down. Standard Lego stairs are pretty much uh, two plates high. So, you know, a plate with a tile on top. Alright, so now we know where these stairs are going to be. We know where those stairs are going to be. And it's perfect that we have room right here. You know, flat ground right here and flat ground right here. So it's still going to be open right here. There's not going to be a wall. But that way, if you're in the living room, you don't have to go around the ki to the kitchen to start on the stairs. And in the kitchen, you don't have to come around to the living room to start going upstairs. Now, stairs in the kitchen, that's kind of unusual, and I'm wondering if I should, uh, should put something else here, but I'm not sure about that. You know what? As little progress as I've made... I oh, look at that. The light that's coming in, it's, it's leaving the shadow of the archways right here. That's really cool, and you can see the shadows from the... Uh, in the windows. Anyways, little progresses I've made today. I think I'm going to wrap it up right now. I've run out of time and I kind of want this series to be uh, made of shorter episodes anyway. So I'm going to leave this up to you guys. I'm going to stop here and I'm going to ask you, what should I do with this area? This is the living area. Most of the bedrooms and stuff is going to be upstairs. What is this right here? Is it a kitchen? Is it something else? You tell me. Leave this video a like if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss future videos as I continue working on this house, especially because when I'm done, you get to download it and you can put it in your own world. That's also why I need your comments. This is your house too. And even on the episodes where I'm not finished with the model, there's going to be something small at least for you to download. Today, you can look in the description and find a link where you can download an accurately scaled Easter Island head that's designed in the shape of a Lego minifigure head. That reminds me, I definitely need lots of ideas for small models like this, because I'm going to include one of those in every video, except for the ones where I finish the model we're working on. Keep being creative, guys. I'll see you next time. Click on the top where you can watch last week's episode, and download the Cloud House. Click on the bottom to watch my most recent video.